forgotten uh... yeah, yeah this is Cairo main train station and today we're gonna take the train and find out more about the Egyptian railway system. I'm now inside Ramses train station. I had to pass a security check and now I'm in. I could have bought the tickets before online as you will see later in this video, but today I haven't. Once in the station, you may be confused by the fact that there is more than one ticket booth. And that's because in Egypt there is more than one train type. There are many types of uh, trains in Egypt. Express, Express VIP, Deluxe. With air conditioner, without air conditioner. The Spanish train, the Russian train. You can easily get confused. So for the sake of our conversation, we'll divide the types of uh, trains in Egypt in uh, three broad categories. The ordinary train, the express train, and the deluxe overnight train. The ordinary trains are the cheapest but also the slowest. In these trains there is generally no air conditioned, apart from some exceptions in first class, and you cannot buy a ticket online beforehand. You have to physically go to the station and buy a ticket there, because ordinary trains are unreserved. And if the train is crowded and you cannot find a seat, you will have to stand on your feet or sit on the floor between the wagons for the whole travel. Express trains are air-conditioned, they are all reserved and tickets come with a specific assigned seat and you can buy tickets online. This is the home page in Arabic, you can click here, English and if you want to book a ticket, train schedule, start station, let's say we go from Cairo to Luxor, the departure date, click on search and in a second you'll get the results. This is the train number, the train type. Sometimes you will read Spanish or Russian. That refers to the country the trains have been produced. It's not too relevant, but if you see it around, at least you know what it means. First and second class have air conditioned and the price. 150 Egyptian pounds for the first class, about 8 euros, 10 dollars, and 100 Egyptian pound for the second class. The tickets are very cheap compared to European standard. The sleeper trains are generally used by those traveling from Cairo to Aswan. They are fully air-conditioned, cabins with beds and a wash basin are available, especially if you book before online. You have to go to this website, whatanaesleepingtrains.com. You will find the link down in the comments. This is the home page. We can click on schedule and tickets. Here you will see the different cabin types available and the prices. A single full cabin for 600 Egyptian pounds, around 30 euros. Bed in double cabin, 400 Egyptian pounds. And if you have children, 350 Egyptian pounds more. Now let's hop on a train. We're going from Cairo to Menia. And first of all, we're gonna buy an express ticket. First class to second class. The camel first. Same. The second. The turning, the camel. And these are ticket, coach number three, seat number two, written in English, and we've got a secure seat. Now we have to find the right platform. <laughs> so we've been changing platform for like four times, now they just said we have to go to platform number eight. So always be careful and ask many times before you get on a train. The problem is that they change platforms very often, sometimes at the last minute. They may say it's on the speakers, but if you don't speak Arabic, you may miss that. So my suggestion really is to find somebody who speaks a bit of English and it can help you. So the train just arrived and our place is Coach 3, C2. Hopefully our place is not occupied, let's put it like that. Here we are guys, and the seat should be number two. So this is what a first class seat train in Egypt looks like. And I mean we paid five euros for a four or five hours travel. The seat is large. I've actually just noticed that over there is a clean window. So I'm gonna change place and hopefully Nobody will come and sit there. By pushing this button. Wow, this is real first class. Well guys, it's about time to take a look at the toilet. It's time to go. Nobody's here. 
On sleeper trains you may find a lounge restaurant wagon, but here you just have these trolleys with some sandwiches and water. You got some water for seven Egyptian pounds, left a tip. You can buy it for three pounds outside, but of course it's a train, the guy is working. Anyway, as you've seen, you can take uh, tea, coffee, basic drinks. We've been traveling for about two hours, but we're still far. And I decided to get myself a sandwich. A chicken banana sandwich. So there is a sandwich, some ketchup, you won't miss it in Egypt. And olives. Quite cool. Be dry. Not the best sandwich I had in my life. While some of the night trains uh, have power supply, trains like these, even in the first class, don't. So if you run for a long trip, bring yourself a power bank, because otherwise it may be hard to charge your phone. So guys, we finally made it to Malawi. But I want to tell you something. I went to the toilet right before getting here and I had forgotten... Uh... Yeah, hey, now. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so I had forgot... I had forgotten... I had forgotten the phone and the chair. And this guy just gave it to me. This is an iPhone, okay? Yeah. This equals to salaries of many people for six months. <laughs> Thank you, Habib. It's my kid. Muhammad. Muhammad. Thank you, Muhammad. Okay. So, you think he's dangerous? Yes, he's not the most fancy train in the world, but the people is honest and generous. Thank yes, you, Habib. Okay. And actually, he told me that I was in the wrong stop. So, a lot of emotions in one minute. So, once again, we made it. Yes, to Malawi. Yes. Malawi. Thanks to Mohammed. Safe and sound. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Safe and sound. Hey. How are you, Habib? Don't you start to take a photo now? Ah, I'll do it. But I'll tell you what. I'll call him Abu Kamam. Thank you, Habib. Thank you, Habib. I'm ready. I'm. You're the black one. Can you see me? This is my friend Ayman, with him we're gonna explore Malawi tomorrow, but for today you saw how safe and friendly people are in the trains. Uh, I hope I gave you a feeling of how traveling in Egypt by train is. It's absolutely for me, if you're a solo traveler, if you want to explore the hidden part of Egypt, it's, it's a great way to do it, by train. Let me know if I forgot to mention something, write it down in the comments and I'll see you on the next one. See you later guys.